Hi everybody, it is January 15, 2019. I'm going to lead with this article because, well, it is uh, just yet another piece of information that should have been included in my last video, Wi-Fi in Schools. Uh, here, Chinese schools scanning children's brains to see if they are concentrating. Wow. Really? So they wear these bands and there's different colors that light up depending on your concentration level. And the Chinese government plans on rolling this out to millions of children. Will it come here? You betcha it will. And will these be emitting dangerous frequencies? Yeah. So, New York City, Bill de Blasio, he is showing his communist roots. He has now, by decree, yeah, executive order, he plans to seize private property of problem landlords. Those landlords who are trying to force tenants out by making their home unlivable, um, well, if the fines and penalties don't cut it, we will seize their buildings and we will put them in the hands of a community nonprofit that will treat tenants with the respect they deserve, Agenda 2030. And I have been saying, and a lot of people have been uh, arguing with me, that no, we're not going communist. I've been saying that for seven years. This is not only a United Nations takeover, Agenda 2030, but it's, it's communism on steroids. And I have also been saying for seven years, do not trust Russia, do not trust Putin. I haven't seen very many comments about people, yay, yay, Putin. Oh, he's, he's the, uh, yeah, it's, it's so bizarre, but there's a lot of young people who didn't live through the decades with, you know, the fight between the United States and the Soviet Union and we were the free country and we were, you know, the country that people wanted to come to. And we were the country that, uh, well, that it was all bullshit then, but we were the country that people around the world regarded as, you know, sane and rational. God, if they only did a little bit of research. And the Soviet Union was the evil empire. We were the good, they were the bad, and now it's flipped. Isn't it interesting? It flipped. Putin, the good guy. Putin, the savior of the world. Russia, the good country. The United States, the bad country. All of it is a stage play. It's not just a stage play coming out of Washington, D.C. We're watching a global staged play, and all of these leaders know we don't have wars with China. We don't have wars with Russia. They're working together to bring about a, a technocratic dictatorship on steroids. And I said earlier this year, you're going to see these agendas really ramp up and you're going to see a whole lot of destruction. And guess what? That is what we are seeing. Um, I'm going to play just a few minutes of this video. Deborah Tavares posted today, fires worldwide, space-based weapons, PG&E, Salarin Corporation, Russian patent. 
Donald Trump, Russia, Salarin, PG&E, oh, all working together. Yeah, there's collusion, just not the kind of collusion that mainstream media is uh, talking about. I absolutely do, as we continue to discuss why PG&E is going bankrupt because of all of the fires that were started by the uh, use of space-based weapons through Solarin, a, a Manhattan Beach-based corporation that is working with Russia and the White House on space-based weapons. So we're going to now talk about who Michael Peavy was during... Okay, Michael PV was on the California Public Utilities uh, Commission, and then he went off to work uh, or to be on the board of advisors for Solarin. Deborah Tavares will give you an awful lot of information, but the PG&E bankruptcy, which may very well be declared by January 29, and Deborah Tavares talks about how PG&E is, well, those fires and those, uh, they were started by electric lines, um, all brought about, all manufactured, because PG&E is going with a different modality, space-based um, electricity. It's why our Atmosphere is ionized, one of the reasons. You know, plasma and, oh my God, we're in deep shit, guys. Sorry for my French, but we are. So the PG&E um, bankruptcy, it's going to really hurt all of the victims who have lawsuits against PG&E. And they're unsecured creditors. So the secured creditors go first, right? Who are the secured creditors? Banks. Banks. Um, the unsecured are those fire victims who, if they do declare bankruptcy, may never see a penny, or they'll see pennies on a dollar in years and years and years. They don't have years. Manufactured crisis. PG&E. PG&E has money. But our government and corporations merged a long time ago and they can easily fudge their books to make it look like they're going bankrupt when they're not which will screw an awful lot of people. All right, um, so I will link below if you want to check out Solarin. Oh, their mission, space-based electricity, uh, space-based weapons. And in this video, Deborah Tavera says, they will burn us all up. Now, I'm not sure she was referring to us all over or that is what is intended for California. You're going to have more and more fires and they're going to be brought about with directed energy weapons. And yes, we do have satellites. Yes, there are space-based weapons. And yes, they can shoot uh, directed energy. All right. Um, get out. Deputies go door to door to evacuate Woolsey Fire Burn Area. The uh, storms in California, interesting, very interesting. You can see the microwaves, you can see the extremely low frequencies that they are using these very defined lines. Um, it has been the storm that was in the north, east suddenly disappeared off radar and that was yesterday it was gone and the only precipitation was over california like the drought capital of the world but very 
uh, what is it, 24, 36 hours later, you still have these storms. They're being held in place. You see the extremely low frequencies right here, defined line. Uh, coming out of north of Forest Ranch, Oroville. There, you know, you, you have in California your counties that hire, that contract uh, companies to provide weather modification. Your utility companies provide weather modification. It is really hard when there is so much evidence that man is controlling weather and bringing about a lot of destruction with that weather and you can't get through to people. Uh, but it's quite obvious, no, Mother Nature does not work with these very defined cutouts of her precipitation that is caused by extremely low frequencies um, coming from Gwen Towers or transmitter sites. Well, what are you going to be getting? Mudslides, flash flooding. I heard the flash flooding up north, flash flooding in San Diego, and yeah, evacuations, fire areas, Woolsey fire, campfire, Paradise. No evacuation orders. How many since the fire? Didn't you have two evacuations in this area? This is three. You had your Woolsey fire evacuation, I believe based on flash flooding and mudslides not too long ago. Here you have another one. This is not going to stop, guys. It's going to get worse. This is deliberate destruction. Mandatory evacuations. We had a 4.7 earthquake off the coast of Maryland really, and a 4.4 in Oklahoma. Um, I don't know, what, what was the, uh, I want to get the, you had a 3.2 earthquake recorded in the same area, Oklahoma, 4.8 miles north northeast of Marshall, Oklahoma. That was upgraded to a 3.9. That was not long after your 4.4. And I'm not getting the depth. I don't see the the depth. Um, Shallow earthquakes are generally a signature of induced, man-induced earthquake. Extremely low frequencies can cause earthquakes. And we see these extremely low frequencies just shooting off all over the place. This is an extremely low frequency that is pretty much 24-7. Uh, and this is the, um, there's a transmitter site in um, Michigan. So we've got these extremely low frequencies bouncing around. They can inadvertently cause earthquakes with these frequencies. Or they can do it deliberately, bring it about.
and your storms in California, the state that never gets rain, interesting now, after these fires that, yeah, they can bring about mudslides with these storms, but it has been pretty much held in place for certainly 24 hours. Now, there was no precipitation anywhere in this country on radar yesterday. And I checked to see if there was anything coming in. Nothing was coming in. And voila, we now have another uh, weather front started in the Gulf. You can see the extremely low frequencies. They don't care what you know anymore because they know this country is just filled with people who are incapable of fighting anything. So they don't care. But all of these very uh, defined faded lines are extremely low frequencies. Yes, they can create, they can create storms, they can create cyclones, they can create hurricanes, they can create earthquakes, they can create precipitation with the use of Doppler radar, the high frequency of the ionosphere that bounces down extremely low frequencies modulated with the high frequencies. So my hunch is that we will probably get more rain. We had it finally that that mass of white thick white don't even want to call it cloud just thick white like paint it was just covering the sky for days finally broke through I actually saw the stars up there tonight in Anderson South Carolina so uh, are they going to bring more rain to us you know the saturation they like to saturate they know the trees are dying they know that it's very easy to topple the trees now. That brings about destruction for people. Um, this is really going to get pretty intense, guys. But I heard from a neighbor that we're getting Arctic cold by Monday or this weekend. Arctic cold. Really? Well, it's been relatively warm, uh, but the weather here never, I have never experienced a winter quite like it. I spoke with a, a friend who lives very close by. I spoke with her today and she said she has never, you know, experienced a winter quite like it. Another neighbor said the weather's wacky don't know what's going on try to tell them but they don't really care they care about watching TV you know what is happening in California it does kinda of break my heart because I know a lot of you out there who are fighting like hell and there is so much obvious destruction going on. Your government is so thoroughly corrupt. And it's really what I can imagine you all feel about all of your neighbors and family members and friends who just will not, will not engage at all in finding out what's really happening. It only threatens you more and more. Well, I hope everybody 
is okay. Stay safe. All links are below.